So we want to add some, some depth to him. We will do that by adding a little bit of brown. Here's burnt sienna. Looks kind of like he's got a little dirty mouth. And most Westies do eventually get a little dirty mouth. So we'll add some burnt sienna to it. Um, looking for an umber. You cannot beat raw umber for anything. And a little bit of raw umber. And I'm going to go back to my white. I put a little more white out here. And we're going to put a little uh, thinner with the white to thin it out some. All right, once again, trying to bring my dog back into this picture with just some light coverage. Okay. And oil is kind of finicky. It's thick. So that's why you've got to use a thinner with it. But an oil painting will last forever. As a matter of fact, I think the older they get, the better they get. Okay. Now, I'm going to get just a little bit stronger brush. This one seems, I love the angled brushes with the nylon. Um, it just, and you can tell you have more control the shorter the brush bristles are, you have a little more control. So I'm gonna dip it back in my white, a little in my brown, and I'm gonna start defining him just a little bit around his nose. He's probably been out in the yard chasing a squirrel or grinding somewhere. They're kinda nasty. Let's get the inside of his ear. I wanna do a little pink, just a tad. You gotta be careful with pink. Because if you get pink on anything, it's going to turn that color. It's a strong pigment. But I am going to get just a little pink so we can get the inside of his ears. Get rid of that green. Add a little brown to it. Let's get the inside of that pup's ears right here. Dab my brush off once again. Let's get over here on this side. Yes, the inside of his ears are pink, but brown is going to be involved strongly. So let's paint what we see if we agree with it or not. I'm even adding black because there's a shadow over here. And also it's going to help us get rid of some of that green. Won't mix with the white. Here we are over here too. Let's add a little bit of black. See, I told you he kind of looks like the Easter Bunny. Now I'm going to get some more dark in and around here and sort of shape some of the depth around this little pup's eyes. Now we will be covering it back up with white. Since this is a short program, I'm not going to add a lot of deep color because sometimes you have to step back from a painting when it's oil and wait a while and then let it dry a day or two and go back and add your top layer, which in this case is white, so that it stands out real strong. Dipping it into my Van Dyke Brown. Dabbing it off again. Oil is a different animal. And when you start seeing it look really weird, don't be afraid. It really needs to look weird before it starts looking real. So we're getting into the dirty around his little mouth. Back up into his ears again while I've got dirty on my brush. Now I'm blending it in with the white I put on earlier. Now be careful, we're pulling that green in. So let's get back into that white over that. We don't want a green Westie. Adding more white. I'm laying it on thick. 
And with oil paint, you can use a palette knife to actually apply the paint to a picture, and it is a cool look. A lot of contemporary artists use a palette knife, sometimes for the whole painting. That does take some practice, but it is a really neat look. Now I know you don't see his eyes anymore, but you will. Let's get this little Westy. I'm throwing some white paint to it. Here we go. Globs. To cover the canvas, to cover our green, to get him back into the picture. You can start to sort of see him a little bit. Now we will add some flowers and spring him up closer to the end. Let me clean my brush. Add a little bit of brown and get back into my white again. And I wanna cover all this canvas down here with white. Sometimes, actually the background of a painting will make it. So don't, don't um, skimp on your background. A lot of times that is what sells a painting. You know, people might think, well, I just like the subject matter, but the patina of the background is so important. So we, we do have a very blurred background, which will help when we start adding detail you'll start liking it better. All right, get Mr. Westy way down in here, and then we'll have flowers cover up some of this bottom part. Thinner, let's get some thinner down here and just cover this canvas quickly. I'm going to add a little more green to the top of his head so that when we do some highlights on him, you'll be able to see his little hair up here.
Okay, getting back into my thinner, wiping it off. I just dab all over the place. And once you kind of get into the zone, that's just kind of what you do. All right, he's got a little black mouth that comes in right in here. I am gonna change brushes and get one with a point. This one has a little bit more pointed end. Cause we're getting into some detail here. 